I'm just doing my job, as always. Right? Who are you? It... It's you. Yes. Now you remember. It's been a long time, hasn't it, Eggle? Too long. Huh? Zanza's disciple. Zanza's disciple? Eagle, what do you mean? Dixon, what are you? I don't have to explain anything. As they say, seeing is believing. Now, witness it with your own eyes. The moment of Lord Zanza's return. Choke! Get away from him! No! Zanza! I won't let you do this! Do not be surprised. Everything in this world is dictated by the passage of fate. As all that exists is interconnected, time can flow only towards the inevitable. That is the vision of which I, the Monado, am the origin. That which will be, will be. This was all predestined. Ever since I came to reside within Shulk. What do you mean? Zanza grew tired from our battle. And then the High Entia ancestors trapped him. His flesh was sealed away on Prison Island. His soul, and hence the Monado, was confined to Ose Tower. In those ruins? But what does this have to do with Shulk? Did you forget? Who discovered those ruins? Who happened to be there? Who was the survivor we found? And who brought back that survivor? What are you saying? You planned all this when you found Shulk! Jackpot! It was all for this day. In fact, there was never anyone called Shulk to begin with. What? My soul existed inside the Monado. It was fated that I be released. It was shown to me in a vision. At last the time finally came, and then... The people who found the Monado and freed it awoke Sansa. He sucked the lies from them so he could live. Shulk was among them. Shulk was already dead! That's impossible! We grew up together! You grew up with an empty shell. He appeared to live because I became his life force. That is until he had matured as my new vessel and become worthy of wielding the Monado, allowing me to truly awaken and finally return. Lord Zanza is the soul of the Bionis, but he still needs a living body. Just like Mayneth over there. <laughs> Call that corpse a friend. Don't make me laugh. But why use Shulk? What was it that made you select Shulk as your vessel? There was no particular reason. Shulk merely happened to be there at the time. There you have it. Anybody would have done. As long as they could swing a sword around, at least. So then, Shulk's ability to use the Monado... And those visions that he used to save us. All because of Lord Zanza. Lord Zanza can see the passage of fate. 
He simply led you to the inevitable. The destruction of Colony 9. The death of that pompous old high entier fool. And that grunt Gaddo's miserable demise. All of it. You evil... Yeah! Ah! There's more. We haven't even got to the best part. What are you gonna do, Dixon? Don't you get it? You're just in the way. The lot of you. This world was created by Lord Zanza. By the very Bionis itself. Then you things think you can just spring up all over the place. All life that is born from me must be returned to me eventually to complete the cycle. For me to continue my existence as before, then all must be restored to its former order. In other words, the destruction and recreation of the world. Nothing more to it. First, we must eliminate my greatest obstacle. You, Maynith. The Maconis! Bionis! Bionis moves! I've been waiting. Waiting for this day. Zanza! Brother, stop! You're too weak! I don't care. I will gladly sacrifice myself to eliminate Zanza. As long as he lives. There can be no peace for us, or for the people of Bionis. Ha! Then you shall cease to exist by the wrath of my blade. It's the Monado. I'll show you the meaning of wrath. Aside. Meaningless sentiment. Zanza! Right, now! Yeah! How could you do this? It is from me that all life is born. It lives only for me. And it shall be returned. unleashed your Monado. And there was me thinking you would die with dignity. I finally understand. The futures of our children belong to them alone. Though we are their creators, their lives are theirs to control. Even if the passage of fate is as you have decided, I will teach you the strength of their will to resist. Zanza, if you choose to deny the existence of every living being but yourself, then I choose to fight. To fight for them! That's right! We won't let you erase everyone's futures! 
This battle is mine, Maynard. What? I feel like I could beat anyone I feel. Is that all you've got? Is that all you've got? Ha! Is that all you've got? I can do it. I know I can. Is that all you've got? You are a pathetic excuse for a god. Everything's gone flurry. We're not getting anywhere. Granty Zero. <laughs> Is that all you've got? Ah! 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 Something wrong. Is this the height of your skill? You call yourself a god. And you talk of sharing this world with me. So that's why the dead boy is important to you. The homes are nothing but bacteria. Clinging to my body. They are living beings. But you cannot understand this. You have no right to call yourself a god. And who decides that? A god. Because only a god may decide. This world only needs one god may May you rot in that shell for all eternity. Fiora! Face me like a god! If not, then say goodbye to your putrid friends! Xander! Such a fool. This is... What I wish. This world belongs to you all. Create a world with no need for gods. This is the passage of fate. Zenza, disappear! He's gone. And things ain't looking good for us. <laughs> Let it begin. The ceremony of destruction and recreation! That light! What's happening now? 
brother! Vanea, I'm sorry. I was. I understand. I always knew it might come to this. Go, Vanea. Do what you must, while there is still time remaining. All hope is not lost. No! You must come with me! I, too, have something that I must do. <laughs> the final wish, trusted to me by Lady Mayneth. Oh, brother. Melia? I understand your feelings. Leave it to us. We know what we must do. We will do all we can for the people of Maconis. Uh, now go. Shulk can still be saved. Do not let the last glimmer of hope be extinguished. Nagil, go in peace. Let's go. We're leaving the Maconis. Ryan, take care of Shulk. Got it. Ah. Uh. You okay? Yes. Good. It still works. The whole place is gonna blow. We must return to Junks via the central factory. Let's go! Thundern? What about Egil? He'll fight Zanza to the very end. But we have our part of the bargain. Once he's gone, we're the only ones left. Let's move, everyone! Goodbye, my brother.
stubborn mortals, so desperate to cling to your pathetic lives, even when there is no hope for you! Don't you ever give up! Danza. They will judge me not in life, but death. world. You must succeed, Lady Maine. Not getting away! Dixon! Listen, it's over. Time for you all to return to the Bionis. Nice and quietly. That's enough! Why, Dixon? What made you like this? Shulk looked up to you, respected you! Dixon! Don't let Zanza control you! Wake up! You can quit your belly aching. I'm in total control. I've always been like this, ever since long before any of you lot were born. Before we were born? Now you get it. It's just like Eggle said. I'm Lord Zanza's disciple, Dixon of the Trinity!
Ha 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 ha! You waste of space! Not so tough without Shulk, eh? Stupid beast! You should be grateful. Not everyone has a war buddy like me to lead them along. Tasted good, didn't they? The victory drinks we used to share. I'll kill you! What? <sighs> who was that? Show yourself! Melia, are you all right? Brother! Kalyan! Dixon! He works for the Bionis! He shot Shulk in the back! Is this true? Dixon? This ends here. Your Telethia are no match for our Havrez squadron. You cannot win! Maybe you should be concentrating on your own people instead of barking at me. <gasps> Looks like you've forgotten your destiny. Right, Lorathea? Lorathea? Are you involved in this as well? Your Highness. Your naivety is quite charming, but it is also your undoing. <laughs> I had much fun playing with you and your father. What? What is this light? Ether particles emitted so that the Bionis can be destroyed and reborn. <laughs> what do you get if you cross high concentrations of ether with high entia? N no, you wouldn't. Lorothea! Awaken, my darling pet! Understand, child. This is the reason why High and Tear are born. Do not blame poor old me. Explain yourself! It's just like she says. The High and Tear are a race created by Lord Zanza to eliminate any annoying life forms in the preparation for the rebirth of the Bionis. Their bodies contain a gene that, when the time comes, transforms them into Telethia. <laughs> It can't be. Say it isn't so. Melia, it is true. That is why you are our only hope. Brother? Whatever. We won't be needing a half-breed like you anyway. I mean, if you don't turn into a Telethia, it just means you're going to get crushed by one. That's the only thing you're good for. <gasps> Rise up, pets. Do my bidding. Kill your lovely sister. of our people. The burden meant for you brings a tear to my eye. These moments are to be treasured. <laughs> Melia! 
mother's wish and the future of the High India are in your hands. Yours and Shulk's. <gasps> Telethia, destroy him! Dixon! I got it. Too late! Damn him!